Hello guys, welcome to being engineers. It has been long since we uploaded a Raspberry Pi tutorial in our channel and finally we came up with a cool Raspberry Pi project that is pretty useful as well. And this project is based on IoT's Internet of Things. We have done quite a few projects based on IoT. Before we start our tutorial, we would like to tell you that you need to watch two of our previous videos to understand the concept in more clear. One is the webcam server using Raspberry Pi and the second one is the IoT based home security system. So do watch those videos before starting and you will be good to go then. In this video, we will be making an IoT based server and camera with some very useful features for security purpose. So now without making further delay, let's start this video. If you are new to this channel being engineers then please consider subscribing to our channel. It is completely free and it helps us to motivate ourselves to produce more and more videos for our audience. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. The things we will be needing are Raspberry Pi. In my case it will be Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspbian is installed in the SD card. Then there is a 12V DC supply. For my case it can give a 10 ampere maximum current but keep in mind that you only need a maximum of 2 ampere current for this project so you can choose your power supply accordingly a normal 12 volt 2 ampere DC supply will be fine enough next you need a is your webcam I will be using the Logitech C272 webcam it can shoot a maximum of 720p footage that is good enough and it is quite fine to transmit over the internet or over LAN then there is two servos I will be recommending a high talk servos not the normal micro servos to mount the servos we will be obviously needing some appropriate server brackets next in the list there is a buck converter that will pull down the voltage from 12 volt to 5.5 or 6 volt that will be powering the servos next in the list there will be a servo driver or a or pwm driver that you can say that is based on pcn9685 ic it can control 16 servos at once and it runs on i2c protocol so these are the main things that we will be needing for the hardware part and except this we will be needing some jumpers electrical wires and you will also need some crocodile clips now this is the ethernet cable that is rj45 cable to connect the pi to internet yes the pi 3 has a wi-fi chip built in but for a more general case i will be using the ethernet not the wi-fi because the previous version of pi doesn't have the wi-fi chip built in for the hardware build we will be needing some more tools a drill machine drill bits a lot of nuts screws and bolts and some very useful hardware accessories like hammers, pliers, screwdrivers, etc. You also need both side tape and knives. So that's it and if you have gathered all your project components and then we can start up making the hardware for it. Now it's time to make the hardware. It is quite simple and doesn't need any more information except the pictures. Just follow the images and videos and you will get the idea. Have patience and try to make the hardware as robust as possible. After we have made the structure it will look something like this. You can get a clear picture now how it will look and I have shown it by different angle so you can get a better look and you can make it by your own. After it is done cut a piece of both side tape and paste it to the camera. Now attach the camera in this way to the upper bracket of this arrangement. You can make a more permanent arrangement by using some nuts and bolts. So that's how it will look after installing the camera on the top and you can see the structure is quite tall. That's why I have told you to make the structure robust and stable because otherwise whenever you will be moving the camera the movement will be jerky and the video feed will be jerky also. And after it is done it's now time for the connections. For the connections follow the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram is also given in the description box so you can download it and take a look at it. What I will be doing that I will be showing a portion of the circuit and I will be making it by my own so you can follow in this pattern. Don't need to worry there is no passive components all these are modules and you have to connect the modules in a proper manner. Just follow the circuit diagram and it will be pretty easy to make your own.
now the connections are done it's time for the software part first of all you have to understand how to make the webcam server with motion package in raspbian os for that watch this video that is there in the pry project playlist in our channel you can find it pretty easily and then was the video named iot based home security system that is a keen based home security system that we have made earlier and from that video you will know that how to set up your raspberry pi with keen after you have set up your Raspberry Pi with Kane, now it's time to adjust the dashboard or modify the dashboard of the Kane app. First of all, open your browser and search for the keyword My Device Kane. Then open the first link in the results. Now sign in your account with email ID and password. Here we are in the dashboard of the Raspberry Pi in Kin setup. Now here you can see the extension of PC9685 in the dashboard of the Raspberry Pi. The extension will not be there previously, you have to add it. Now from the Kin people we have came to know that the extension is not deletable. Whenever you have attached the extension after that you can't delete the extension so I can't delete it. But I will show you how to add it at first. For that click on add new, click on device widgets, there go to extension and from the sub menu select PWM. So this is the servo driver PCI 965 click on that. The product name will be same device will be raspberry pi and the slave address will be same as default that is the 0x40 so just click on add extension and don't need to alter any other settings and the extension will be there in the dashboard now so if you click on there you can see all the channels there are 16 channels in the servo driver as we have said it earlier from channel 0 to channel 15 then you have to add the servos so click on add new and widget devices search for servo and click on servo motor now type in the widget name as pan servo device name will be same as raspberry pi connectivity will be pc9685 channel will be the first channel available that is channel 0 the widget will be a slider and then there is two options that is the maximum position and the minimum position for my case i want to pan the camera from plus 60 degree to minus 60 degree, I will be putting the minimum value as minus 60 and the maximum value as plus 60. So for that, I will be getting a total 120 degree field of view. Then click on add actuator. Now we have to add the second servo that is the tilt servo in this case. So by the same method, I click on add new devices, search for servo, click on controller servo motor. The name will be Tilt servo in this case, the device will be Raspberry Pi, connectivity will be PC9685, channel will be the second channel that is the channel 1, widget will be slider and in this case I will be putting the minimum maximum value as minus 30 to plus 30 so vertically we will be getting a 60 degree field of view and that is good enough for me. Now by moving this slider back and forth you can control the servos that is connected to the raspberry pi via the servo driver but you can also control the servos via the cane app so download the cane app from the play store and install it then sign in with your account so click on the raspberry pi in the devices list and there you will get the whole dashboard in mobile or in your tablet both the tiles of pan server and tilt servo is there so you can control the servos as well from the app and from the dashboard also now i'll be powering on the whole system and let us see how it works now open putty type in the ip address of your raspberry pi click yes sign in to your pi with your username and correct password the password will be raspberry by default type in the comment sudo motion and the motion software will be enabled and the video feed will be transmitted over lan now open your browser and type in the IP address with the camera port and the video for it will be there in your browser and if you are confused about how to do it how to get the motion thin working was the video that I have showed you previously in that video I have explained in 
detail how to make the webcam server do it motion and the Raspbian OS so watch that video and then you can do it I'll be opening the Keen app in my mobile I'll be moving the slider back and forth and you can see the camera moving with the servos and the brackets and also the video feeds is changing So the project is almost completed now you can see the video footage in real time over LAN also you can control the servos but it's not necessary that you have to win the same network as raspberry pi for the controlling of the servo you can control the servo from any network but you can't see the video footage right now over internet you will be only seeing the video footage over LAN now to see the video footage over internet you have to do some port forwarding so the port forwarding technique is different for different routers of different manufacturers so i'll be not showing that just search in google about how to set up port forwarding in your router with your router brand name and then you will find many tutorials so do that and after that you will be able to view the video footage over internet from anywhere in the world in your laptop or in your desktop or in your tablet in your mobile wherever you want so the project is completed hereby and I think you have liked it. If yes then please like this video, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It is completely free and it helps us to motivate ourselves to produce more and more videos for our audience. It takes a lot of effort to make a video. So please help us by subscribing and liking this video. That's it in this video. See you in our next video. Till then bye and take care.